I let I let just silence, you know, and I let my phone not ringing, and I let myself ha spend, you know, whole afternoons on my own and and try to make friends with myself, and that's really, really what happened, and I learned so much, and I, well, first I fell in love with solitude and my my own company. I learned um, activities that I love, things that I can do alone. And I also learned to just let people come and go. So meaning different than what I was doing in New York, where I would kind of be like, oh, once you said yes and opened the door to a relationship, you are locked in. You know, if the person calls you the next time to have a coffee, since you've had coffee once, your loyalty says you should have a coffee another time and keep going and drag these relationships forever. This time, I tried to just like embrace that, you know, it might have been great to have this moment with one person, but maybe not another time and try to embody that. It's still a subject that's very difficult for me. Uh, I have a really hard time closing the door, but I am learning, learning to do it now. So that's what I do now. That's the, the, the second part of my journey. It's really taking my time. And that's what I'm doing now that I'm in London. Um, I don't have friends here yet. I have, you know, acquaintances that I met in my life in fashion or, you know, in my past, but I'm trying to really only entertain really deep, interesting, funny, something friendships, not just convenience or, you know, oh, I used to know you, but is that really vi like vibrant? And if there is no vibrancy, if I'm the one, you know, I'm an entertainer, look at me, I'm like doing videos and all that so if you bring me at a lunch or a coffee with someone or even a few people and it's something is dull i will take upon myself to make something happen i will be uh, funny making fun of myself i'll be the clown i'm that type of person everybody knows them uh, some of you might be one of them but the thing is i don't know for if you've experienced that is that you get home then and you're so exhausted and you're like but wait what was in this for me um, so now I'm, I'm really careful with that and I take my time what I do though because I think it's also important to you know positively put yourself out there and I haven't forgotten who I used to be when I was in Marseille and like running after people is literally I'll, I'll contact people on Instagram like I one of my new friends uh, is a therapist who's um, love work I love on Instagram and I she doesn't have a million followers or whatever. I just found her by chance and um, I reached out and I was like, hey, you know, of course, I have a sort of a profile, so it's easier and I know that. Um, but I think, you know, I, people reach out and I answer constantly, you know, on, on Instagram and all that. Not I can't be friends with everyone, but I mean by that, that those relationships can be fostered on that platform and on social media and that's why social media is so great in so many ways you know so i'll do that um i'm reading because i had i prepared a little bit these questions um and i also you know i'm going to join don't laugh but you know some of you who've known me for a while know that i've always dreamt about singing a choir and so my new project is to join a local choir that I finally found after years of looking and um, I think the age uh, you know is probably around I don't know I saw them and it's probably around like 70 to 80 uh, but I am I'm, I'm quite excited actually this is going to be a great way to meet people that you know are from a different generation um, to do something exciting I mean that I've always wanted to do and I truly believe in you know joining clubs doing activities that are exciting um, for you you know things that you like that might be weird to others but when you're going to meet maybe like-minded people so that's definitely I mean it's kind of an easy advice uh, but definitely do that and then use the same type of you know filter and be kind of stringent you know is uh, I'm gonna have a coffee with that person uh, did I have fun? Did I learn something? Did I feel a vibration? Did I feel something? Is that relationship going to be something that makes my life better? It has to be a little bit at some point, right? We can't just drag people around in our life just to fill the time. I say that because I think if you fill the time with someone, 
then it's time that you're not giving to yourself to maybe write your book. I mean, in my case, you know, to maybe spend more quality time with your boyfriend or cook or whatever. You're taking it away for something that's not really, that's just making you feel good on a social level. Like I have friends, but actually I'm not having that much fun with that friend. Or from you taking that time away from actually, you know, being proactive at meeting someone, going to that choir or, you know, doing things like that. So I think it's really important. Uh, see, you're telling me how do I meet friends and I'm telling you how do you not meet friends, <laughs> basically. Um, but for that, I think, uh, you know, we have to also learn to be with our loneliness, learn solitude and the joys and the beauty and the creativity that we can find in solitude. And obviously for me, maybe it's easier. Uh, you know, I'm a grown woman. Um, I've learned many times to be on my own, but I'm also a writer. I like, you know, spaciousness and, and quiet and all that. But I think also ask yourself, what are you looking for? Uh, when what are you looking for in people uh, is it social pressure that you should have a full agenda like I was feeling in New York is it that you have a profound fear of loneliness which I couldn't urge you more to explore because loneliness is one of the greatest gifts in life once you start you know knowing how to harness it and to live in it and to be it you know uh the first time i found myself in my apartment um, in marseille alone without friends in the city i literally cried for i think three days but i was 22 and i still had so so much to learn and that's what i'm trying to you know impair on you uh right now <laughs>